In this video demonstration, we learn how to position models using the Navisworks factory tools. I will use GripSnap to reposition a model and show how the factory floor resizes automatically. I start GripSnap and then I select the crate model in the selection tree. I can now select a point on the corner of the crate. The GripSnap mini toolbar displays with options for repositioning the crate. Free drag allows me to freely move the model around the floor. Move point using reference geometry repositions the model based on an edge or two points on another model. Rotate about point rotates the model on the floor plane. I can either drag the model or enter a precise distance in the heads up display. Back closes the mini toolbar and returns to the model so you can make another selection. I will select free drag to move the crate. The crate follows the pointer as I mouse over the floor. When the rubber banding option is enabled, the model stays in its original location and a line connects the pointer to the crate. Notice that the pointer snaps to the grid intersections and the grid lines. The floor automatically changes size as I move the pointer towards the edge. When I click on the floor, the crate moves so that the original point is coincident with the selected point on the floor. Next, I click on an edge of the crate. The mini toolbar has different options for edge selections. Free drag for edges behaves similarly to the point option, except the crate will change orientation as the edge aligns with a new line. Drag along ray moves the table along a line defined by the edge. I can either drag the model or enter a precise distance in the heads up display. Move along ray using reference geometry moves the crate the distance of the next selection. I select the move along ray using reference geometry option. An arrow indicates which direction the model will move. I can click a line segment on the floor and the model will move the distance between both major and minor grid lines. CAD models are placed with their origins aligned with the factory origin. As you can see, the crate is rotated on its side and needs to be in an upright position. This is accomplished using the Set Landing Surface command. After I start Set Landing Surface, I can select three points on the bottom of the crate to define a plane. After selecting the third point, the crate rotates so that the bottom is on the floor. However, there may be occasions when the model orients itself under the floor. If that occurs, select the Inverse button from the mini toolbar to flip the orientation. When you are satisfied with the orientation of the model, click the Confirm button to complete the command. I will now return to the Grip Snap command and use the Rotate About Point option to rotate the crate 90 degrees. I then select a point on the bottom corner of the crate. You can rotate the model dynamically or enter a value in the heads-up display. Finally, keep in mind that you can resize the floor at any time using the Resize Floor command. Pressing and dragging one of the blue grips located at the midpoints of the floor lets you resize the length or width of the floor. Pressing and dragging a blue grip at the corner of the floor allows you to resize both length and width simultaneously.